So I had some bad news, eh? I had some bad news. Wednesday meeting over Paul Adomoshi. I don't understand people. We are in a political situation, okay? So I'm doing this program. I've been saying things about people all over the place. So Wednesday, and I'm talking to those who had the meeting yesterday. So they had a meeting and planned that they were going to harm me or something like that. I'm talking to you people. If you know them, tell them one MP was involved. Now, the security people have picked that up, and they have told me that a meeting occurred yesterday about you. An MP is involved. We know who you are, Mr. MP. They are coming for you, and I'm so sad. Well, they are coming for you. One MP was involved and had other people sitting around him, and they said that I drive alone, so they will harm me when I'm driving, something stupid like that. And I really don't, but don't you know that Ghana is, uh, that the security, we don't think they are working. They are really working. So every conversation you had there, they know it. I don't know it. They told me. That chief, this is what we have picked up. So these are the measures that we'll be taking. But why would you go and sit there and say that we are going to harm somebody? Because of what he's doing. We have to silence him. Apparently that word was used so many times. That phrase, we have to silence him. We have to sil silence me with your brain. Don't, not with gun. It doesn't work like that. Do you think we are living in 1900? But I, I don't understand why people do. This has nothing to do with NDC. This is not NDC policy. It's not NDC philosophy. It is some people. Some of them may be NDC, yes. But they had a meeting yesterday, Wednesday, the security people have picked it up. And they have told me that this meeting occurred at this place. And I was, I said, hey, people can do that. Write an article, write a region that we have to silence him. We he shouldn't see the end of this year. We will silence him. Really? Okay. The security people are coming after you. So they, are, they will pick you up one by one. And you have to explain what you mean by we have to silence him. And the news will be out there when you are picked up. And then people will come and complain. Somebody has been picked up and the security people didn't disclose. Come and ask me when they picked up. I will disclose it to you. Because this is what, these are the nefarious activities that they conduct to silence them. We have to silence him. We have to silence him. When we are doing intellectual work, you want to silence. Silence with, didn't you hear P.A.V. and say the pen is stronger than the sword? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Okay. I, I'll leave it there. That's, that's about it. Today we are going to be going on a highway, you know. So I'd like to take the commercial break now, and then we set up on the highway. We start with Asedun Ketia, we go to um, Right to Information, we come to the Kenya. The Kenya thing is really building up, it's getting very, very interesting. So welcome about to Good Evening Ghana. Sometime during the program, I'll tell you more about this story, about we have to silence him. This is Wednesday meeting about Paul Adumot, we have to silence him. He shouldn't see the end of this year because he's doing things against us. Are you all right? Okay. <laughs>